hey guys and welcome back to another video so to, in today's video i am showing you what planner i am going with because if some of you may know i was using the budget mom's paycheck workbook and i thought that one was a little too much for me it's really good very good i would recommend it if you guys fill all the all the slots up then that would be awesome for you but that one was just a little too much for me so i figured i wanted something a little smaller and i can make up as i go so i decided to go with the happy planner life well plan a happy life i don't know if you guys can see it sorry if there's a glare because i have my um my light on the top there so i wanted to give you a review and to share some 2020 goals with you guys so let's just get right into it so here it says hello this is the happy planner belongs to me which my name is sabrina as some of you may or may not know but i have brina with a twist but that's just brina short for sabrina right if that makes sense right and then you have your little calendars here um spread out so here's january and i believe this one is 2020 and i believe this is going to be the next following year because this one starts on a friday so i am guessing this side here is for 2021 so i have a nice look of the next following year which is not bad then here you have a calendar as well but you have it i don't know how to how to say it, like in sections like this from 1 through 30 so we have january February, march april may june and i wrote down my birthday which is the 12th i have my daughter's birthday which is the 17th my homegirl's birthday is the 16th there's a there's other people i haven't fill up fill up the um slots uh we have march april which is my older brother's birthday and i thought this was pretty cool because then i can just fill in slots or write appointments it doesn't matter because i still have a choice of where i want to um write at so here is the rest of the months here in colors i really had like the colors um the colors are very um out there it's like i'm gonna say pastel colors so i really really like these colors in this binder so then we come to here um here in this section it says coming up in january i just wrote a paragraph for myself so i'll know and i can always look at it every time i open up this planner then this little section here you could put down birthdays so you can remind yourself and then these are the special days that's going on in the month which is the new year's day which is january 1st and martin luther king jr day which is january 20th so this is pretty cool to know um what's coming up in the month then i decided i bought these um these note uh what do you call it i, I bought this separate um so i can write down like my goals and my budgets and my expense tracker and things to that nature and it says you got this so i thought this was perfect because i have a goal to reach and I had to write them down and this would be perfect because i know i got this and i know you guys got it too if y'all got goals to accomplish so in 2020 goals of mine is one to focus on debt which <laughs> you're gonna see in the next in the next paper how much is my debt um it's pretty high so I have to focus on that. So I'm actually doing the debt snowball, which is the Dave Ramsey method, which you do it from lowest to highest. And I'm going to do that again. So we'll get to that in a few minutes. And then number two is to save $2,000 for emergency fund. So like you guys, some of you guys may know, I already have $1,000 already saved. I actually wanted to save an additional $1,000, but I didn't do that until about two weeks ago. So I said, hey, I'm going to add another $1,000 to save $2,000 for 2020. So that's another one of my goals. And then three is to spend more time with my daughters. Um, I feel like sometimes, 
as a mom, as a single mom, um, you tend to think about all these things that you have to do in life. And yes, you know, you have daughters, but then it's like you have to work. Then you got to go to doctor's appointments or you got to do so many things because there's so many things to do um, in life that sometimes you don't recognize or realize, hey, I haven't even really spent time with my kids. I mean, I can spend time with my kids, but I spend time with them at home, which is more than enough for me because I'd rather be home anyway. But I think we need to do more things outside of home, like ice skating or movies or maybe a dinner date. So those are things I kind of want to focus on because sometimes we could get distracted in life and not realize that we are losing time because time just flies by and we need to do more with our families or with our kids or with ourselves as well um so yeah that's one of my main goals as well and these goals here are just some of my goals because i have more goals up on my vision board but these are just some of them i wanted to share with you guys so number four is stick to my goals so i started this whole budgeting back in February or March of last year and I think I did pretty good but I did mess up here and there and I'm only human so um and those are things that I am going to fix here on out so number five is make extra cash cash so I'm gonna post more things up on Poshmark I have to open up a new eBay account so I can post up on there as well because my last eBay account got hacked but um yeah and i'm not gonna let that stop me i am going to create another one and i'm gonna keep pushing forward so yeah guys so i'm gonna do that as well and on also to post on makari and if you know any other sites that i can post on to help me um sell some items leave it in the comment section below that would be so helpful thank you number six is rebooks so last year i had a goal and i did read about i'm gonna say two or three books maybe two i think i'm pushing it with three i'm gonna say two i read so for 2020 i actually want to read 50 books and i'm actually going to jot them down so each book i read i'm going to write it in my calendar and of course we come to number seven which is be organized <sighs> what i mean about this is to write down everything to write in the expense tracker so i can know where my money's going to keep track of everything that i do um and to make to be organized more with like with my mail and um what else can i say uh things around the house right so when i go couponing i just leave some of my stuff in the i have these uh crates um in my room where i have a whole bunch of um stuff that i have there from couponing yeah, I need to be more organized. Um, that's another one of mine. And like I said, I have many more goals to uh, reach. But I have them, like I said, on my risen vision board. And that is for me. But I wanted to share some. And maybe you guys can share some with me in the comment section below. And we can start a conversation. Because I think goals are important. Because if you don't set them, um, I feel like we just be all over the place sometimes and I know that's for me and I speak for myself but I'll leave everything in God's hands and I know everything will work out so now we get to our debt snowball for 2020 Lord Jesus so I am in debt $25,060 and three cents and I know some of you are gonna be like hey you only had two or three right you didn't have all these extra ones so now let's get into it so i made these little boxes which i got them from pennies pennies for perfection or perfections for pennies um this idea was pretty cool i had like this where i can just check off each time that i accomplish these this debt snowball so all these came about within the year so Best Buy, I needed a TV. My TV had broke. That was an emergency. And this is why I say emergency funds is everything. This is why I say, I'm like, you got to save the money. So if something happens, you just pay cash. And if you don't have the cash, don't do it. But I'm going to get these down packed. So 
Target, I said, okay, I purchased something and I said I was going to pay for it when I got paid. Yep, I didn't do that either. So, yeah, guys, I am human, but I'm going to get to this. Oh, and by the way, this care credit for $5.90, yeah, this is old. This is in collections. I just saw it within, I think it was like two or three months. And I was trying to dispute with them because this care credit for $5.90 has been there, which I, like I said, I just saw, but it's been there since two, wow, well, the early 2000s. I mean, yeah, 2000 and, I don't know if it's 15. I know it's somewhere down there. And yeah, I got to pay that. And this 382 was because of my dog. He got sick. And I had to pay for his vet bill. So I have some things to accomplish. So I won't have to use a credit card. So I need to start saving more for my emergency fund. So if any of these ever happen, I can just purchase them. So this is my target. And this is what I'm going to be focusing on. So hopefully I'll be knocking these out within four months. Some these four, The first four, I'll be knocking those out in the first. I'm going to say first four to five months. So let's see how I do with that. So wish me luck. Then here is going to be for my January um, paycheck budget, which that will be in another video because I'm going to look at all the um, bills that I have to actually write down each bill that I have. So I'll be able to see what I budgeted for and then afterwards would be the actual and what's the difference. So I decided to do this way because I feel like the other book had too many boxes for me and I wasn't filling all those boxes I was only really using two so in this page here I am gonna do my bills and expenses here and then down here is gonna be like my sinking fund slash envelopes down here so it'll all be in one page instead of having to go there and then to like to turn the page I rather do everything on one page um, if that makes sense to you so I'll see everything here then I have my expense tracker and my expense tracker you already know it's gonna be the date the category the end balance and the cash and card so either I use cash or I use card and I am really focusing on just using cash I don't want to use no cards not even my debit card I want to use I just want to use cash and for January here it says hustle your heart out this is why i really like this budget i mean this planner um i was looking for a budget planner but i really didn't like the inside of it or the format of it so i just said you know what go with a regular one and then you could just get some note pages and just stick them in and write what you want to write and i love the colors in it look at the disc they are in pastel colors beautiful and of course, I started writing in. Um, I get paid every two weeks. I wrote some goals here. Was to eat some healthy, um, to eat something healthy, pay extra towards debt, um, start designs for t-shirts, and sell four items on Poshmark just for the month of January, just to see how you know how it goes. And this is my layout. This is my beautiful layout that I did because, you know, um, the planners have the actual calendar here and then they have like a each week like this. So, yeah, guys, this is for January and then that's what February looks like, which is so pretty. I don't know if you guys see it. It says planner, babe. And it's in like a purple i'm gonna say pastel color it could be oh, i could be wrong this is march it says stripes are my favorite color and then april of course they gotta put some flowers and yellow and then may is checklist happy pan happy planner favorite pens awesome stickers Lots of watch washi, coffee or tea. Of course, mine's gonna be coffee. 
and I love the color. The color is so pretty. And then June looks more like a happy birthday themes with these banners and it says celebrate everything tiny victory. And that's what we're going to do. And so I'm hoping by June I can knock out four of my debt snowball debts, you know, to, to get a head start. And this one says planners got a plan. Yes, we do. Oh my God, this video is going to be so long. Plans are dreams and the making. This is for August. Oh, come on. And then for September, it says it's a good day to have a good day. That's every day. I love that color, as you can see. And then October, this says you got this planner, babe. And then this one says live life colorfully babe if i said that correctly and then it has all the little dots and gold and all the pastel colors of the planner and then this one says planning and my jam plan planning oh planning is my jam planning is my jam um, and that's everything for my planner and my debt that I want to cry but you know what we're gonna get through this I got this I got this and the reason why I'm doing it on on my channel is so I could be held accountable because I know that I shared it with you guys and I know I can't let myself down so not that I have anything to prove to you guys I have something to prove to myself so let's go 2020 and that is all for my my planner so if you like this type of video please give me a thumbs up if you have any comments questions anything leave it in the comment section below and if you guys use um a happy ugh, i don't know what it is i can't talk today if you guys use a happy planner or do you use another planner so let me know guys let me know and if you have any goals, and I know some people uh, told me a goal or two in my last video, but if you want to share some goals with me, leave it in the comment section below. I would love to hear it because you might just motivate me with something new. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe, and I'll be seeing everyone in my next video. Bye.